Okay. Christmas special number two. <laughs> Don't know if it's going to come to anything, but at least I'm a, at least I'm trying, you know. I'm trying to make do with what I've got. And to the clip I made this morning before I left. Again, it seems to be a case of, you know, two step forward, one step back, or, or you know, one step forward, two steps back sort of sort of thing, you know, uh, we're not going fast, very fast. Um, there are, um, point one, yes, it is possible to grow, at least Sarah Senior, uh, in no peat, no choir, so, yeah, as a bit of a ride joke to Golio, or I don't know how you say his name, G Gulio, or whatever, in um, Beecher, <laughs> he's doing it without peat, he's doing it with choir, and sawdust. I think he's doing coir and sawdust. I think that's what he's doing. Not, don't want to press him on that point. I've seen sawdust things and so, but I'm doing it with basically sand formula and the charcoal on the top is just basically his rain splash. You, you don't really need, from now through summer, you don't need the If there's no rain, you don't need the charcoal on the top. Um, but you will need it as we go back into the, unless of course you get some sort of, you know, uh, Furbage on the top, you know, a bit of moss and uh, lichen, and maybe a bit, uh, maybe the odd fern if you can get an odd fern to grow there. It would be have to be a really odd fern, I think. But anyway, but uh, yeah, so that's point one. It is possible, needs more work, as I said, but it is possible. And I'm soon eventually will, if I live long enough and do enough work, we'll get to cephalodas, heliumphor and all the rest, and we will get to grow them bigger, better and more colourful because all